Hey guys, this Walk Wednesday series is all about Chinese Unchopped, my first book, which covers the core techniques of Chinese cooking. So anything from steaming, stir frying, deep frying, braising, roasting, poaching, and double cooking, that's piecing together two or more of those core techniques. Let's get walking, I can't wait. This week, we're focusing on the wok with an alternative method of using the wok for steaming a whole fish. We're doing a steamed sea bream with crushed soybeans and chili sauce. Now in Chinese tradition, cooking a whole fish and keeping it whole is really important because we have fish like this that signifies an abundance in life, keeping it whole. So I've got sea bream here. In my book, it's actually a sea bass. Sea bass, sea bream, they're very interchangeable, similar sort of flaky white fish. Now, if you don't have a sort of traditional steam setup, I'm gonna show you the alternative way of doing it now. And keeping that hole, because it's quite big, you need a good surface area, which a wok's perfect for. Anything sort of heavy-ish and heat-proof, uh, in terms of a heat-proof bowl, you can just pop into the water, just go careful if it's hot. And then you can sit your plate straight over the top of that heat-proof bowl. As so long as there's a gap between the plate and the wok itself, it allows the steam to come round the plate and cook that fish. And then all you need from there is to make sure it goes onto a high heat and that's hot water already, so that'll steam up quite quickly, and then cover that with the lid. Simple as that. Ad hoc steaming. So whilst your fish is steaming, and it doesn't take long, I mean, that's about 300 grams, it'll take about eight minutes to steam that fish. If it goes to sort of five, 600 grams, you could push it to 12 minutes, but not much more. You want it to be perfectly cooked. Uh, then, uh, you know, during this time, you can make up your sauce. I've got some finely chopped up garlic and chili already. I've got some finely sliced up spring onion. I've got it there, so I'm gonna use it. You don't have to, but coriander works really well with this salted soybean dish. Now these salted soybeans, quite specialist. I mean, if you can't find them, just leave them out and you know, you'll have a very, very nice steamed dish, uh, fish dish anyway. Um, but you can get these salted soybeans from Chinese supermarkets and it literally is a fermented salted soybean. So what you wanna do with this, it's very salty, um, so I'm gonna crush them up lightly. And this is almost like the start to miso paste, really. And I'm gonna fry these off with my garlic and chili, so I'll just leave that on the side there and then make up my sauce. Now, I've got some chili bean sauce here. So I'll go for a teaspoon of chili bean, about a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And that'll really work with the sweetness, the natural sweetness of the fish. And then some rice wine. Just give that a stir through. And then lastly, your chicken stock, or fish stock, or veg stock, or just water will work too. I want this to be nice and saucy so we can pour over the top of the whole fish. And that color of that sauce is a little bit too light for me at the moment. So a little dash of dark soy will just deepen that red. And that will reduce down when it hits the wok. So the fish should be done now. So the way to check whether your whole fish is cooked or not is your dorsal fin, and that's attached to the, the bone. And so if you just pull that and it comes straight out, then you know that it's cooked all the way through to the bone. So now's the time to finish this dish off and just carefully lift that out, and that'll stay steaming hot. I'm gonna take the stalks of the coriander off, and you can finely chop this, but I'm just gonna use this very roughly. I've got my sauce ready to make here. My soya beans, my salted soya beans, garlic, chili, and coriander. And then I'm gonna dress the fish first with loads of coriander, and spring onion if you wish. You can go quite generous with both on this. You know, if you are a bit shy of the eye, cover him up. And then 
a good amount of oil in your smoking hot wok. What you want to do is sear that spring onion and coriander over the fish first and then I'll make a quick sauce which will take about 30 seconds to make. Smoking hot oil to sear your greens. It's got that, I call that this sort of balsamic effect, you know, where you're going oil first and then sauce on top. And then I've got enough oil in the base there to then start frying my garlic, chili, coriander. This is all pretty quick from here. My salted soybeans. Give that a good fold through. Make sure it's a smoking hot wok. Your sauce goes in. Add a bit more coriander to it, why not? <coughs> Bring that to a really good, vigorous boil all the way through before you then pour it over your fish. So once that sauce is really bubbling away, then you can go straight off the wok, all over your fish. And look at that, shouts out tasty. Very, very quick wok cooking, but it's not a stir fry. So, let's dig into the fish. It's a traditional Chinese way of serving out a whole fish is just taking two spoons and showing that it's perfectly cooked because it just slips off the bone when you push the meat away from the bone. It's nice to get a bit of that coriander and the salted soy. Delicious. Sweet, savoury, and that natural texture and flavour from the fish is fantastic too. That's the perfect dish for me with a bowl of steamed rice, some flash fried green veg on the side. Guys, if you like this type of food, you want to learn how to make steamed fish or curries or any type of Asian cuisine, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like away.